I am Anil Kumar and here is a thinking problem for you. It is a very difficult test question at this stage when you are learning how to use tangent ratios and solve word problems. The question number 17 here is find the height h to the nearest tenth of a meter. You are given the diagram. So basically you are checking this point D from two different points. Angle of elevation from point A is 33 degrees angle of elevation from point B is 41 degrees and these two points are 30 meter apart. You need to find height of this particular uh, item, whatever it is, right? Sometimes it could be a building, sometimes it could be a tree, but that is the kind of uh, application question which at times may become really difficult. You need to pause the video, solve and then look into my suggestion. Now I suggest that to find the height we need to first find distance between B and C. So let me call that distance as X. Okay. Once we find X then we can use tangent ratio to find height. Correct. So that is how we are going to do. Now in this particular case we are talking about distance and height that clearly indicates we are talking about tan ratios. Correct. So remember one thing tan ratio or I should write tan theta in general will be used for distance height problems right or when we are talking about opposite over adjacent right that is tan ratio so that is what is tan ratio in most of the cases you will see this kind of a situation in this video since that is the main focus for us there are a few cases where we are also finding out ratios for using sine and cosine, right? Now, let us apply this tan ratio and solve the question. How can we do it? So we'll begin by the triangle BCD, right? In triangle BCD, we know DC is right angles. So we can relate X with the height, correct? So let's take triangle BCD. And in this triangle, tan of 41 degrees is equals to h over x. And from here, we can write x is equals to h divided by tan of 41 degrees. Is that okay? So we get a relation between h and x. So we know x is height divided by tan of 41. Now let us consider the bigger triangle ADC. Now in this big triangle, tan of 33 degrees is equals to height over 30 plus x, right? 30 plus x. Now in this particular case, we can cross multiply and then, and then write what h is, correct? So we'll say tan of 33 times 30 plus h, let me write here tan of 33 degrees times 30 plus x is equals to h. So as you can see we have two equations and two variables. This is equation number one and that is equation number two and in both equations we have relation which is linking x and h. Correct? So at this stage you have a couple of options since we need to find h what we can do is we can actually eliminate one of the variables and find the other. That is that is what we can do. Now, uh, we can use numbers here. So what we will do is, we'll replace x with h over tan of 41. That is, that is one possibility. The second one is, uh, we, can, we can actually solve this bit more and, and do the needful. So let's use the calculator, find what tan 33 is, write them in numbers basically, right? So that will help us or at this stage what we can do is, okay, so I'll actually provide you with a general solution, I think that is better. So I'll replace x with tan of 41, that is this angle and this general solution will actually help you to solve this kind of a question in any given situation. So that's the whole idea. So let me write this as 30 times, let me open the bracket, 30 times tan of 33 plus 
x times 10 and instead of x times 10 33 I'll write h over 10 41 okay x is h over 10 41 so instead of x I'm writing h over 10 41 times 10 of 33 degrees okay 10 33 degrees is equals to h you get the idea so I'm going in for a very general solution it may look complicated but it is more helpful that's the whole idea now we can see here that we have term in h so I can bring this term to the right side and find the value of h so I can write 30 tan of 33 degrees is equals to h minus h times tan of 33 degrees divided by tan of 41 degrees now tan of 33 or 41 is just a number okay now here I can take h common correct and we have 1 minus tan of 33 degrees divided by tan of 41 degrees correct now you see I can find what h is so so h is equals to for us 30 times tan 33 divided by 1 minus tan of 33 degrees that is divided by tan of 41 degrees do you see that so we have a very very general solution now importance of this solution is that if I replace 33 by any angle alpha for example right and 41 by any angle beta then I get a general formula here and that is let me write down the general formula here now in that case let me write a general formula here okay if these angles are alpha and beta correct and this side is given to us as as let us say d any distance d okay so I'm replacing 30 with d so in that case I can write let me write in a different ink okay let me write in black and circle it okay so we can write h equals to instead of 30 we'll write d times tan of 33 which is alpha that means the y outside angle divide by 1 minus tan of alpha divided by tan of beta do you see that formula now so in any given situation like this you are expecting this kind of a result so this is a general solution for such a problem do you get the idea right now now what you can do is you can use calculator and find this answer correct so so let's do let's divide tan of 33 by so we'll do it in small steps 1 minus within bracket I'm just calculating denominator first tan 33 divided by tan of 41 okay bracket close equals to, so that is the denominator 0 0.2522 right so that is let me write here as 0 0.25294 okay and the numerator here is 30 times tan of 33 degrees which is 19.4822 so we have 19.4822 right now we'll divide numerator by denominator divide by 0 0.2529 equals to so we get 77.02 correct so that is the height which we get in this particular situation so we can write down our answer and our answer is the height it could be height of uh, we have not mentioned but height h is equals to 77 to the tenth of a meter okay so point zero meter so that is the height of this particular uh, thing whatever it is right but in any case in the process of solving I've shown you how to get a general solution right so that is a general solution where d is the separation between these two points alpha and beta are, are angle of elevations correct so 
where alpha is a smaller angle, wider distance. And as you move closer, angle of elevation becomes higher. So that is beta. And you get this kind of a formula to work with. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.